hi guys yeah, welcome back to my channel so of course if you're an oldie on the channel you know i've been talking about this couple the clements and i've spoken about certain things about their family and all that so this couple if you are a newbie here this couple the husband has a condition known as osteo um genesis imperfecta okay you can also check out our channel is called the clements so they have a daughter called malaika so of recent sometimes people make comments on their channels like um stop um showing malaika on their channel why majority of their fans actually love malaika of course she's adorable right so before they um actually conceived malaika people asked them if they know if this condition that the husband has okay is um genetic and he answered in the q and a where he mentioned that yes it is genetic that is it can be passed from father to a child okay and people actually expected that they might you know try other means of conception which them themselves according to the wife who is from zimbabwe and the husband who is kenyan but currently they are residing in the us okay they are residing in atlanta but they decided that they were going to trust in the lord of course they are christians they are going to trust in the lord to see if god is going to give them um a child okay that does not have that condition that the father has so according to them they trusted in in god they went ahead got pregnant and along the line they went for you know scan and they still found out that the daughter malaika is going to have that condition known as osteogenesis imperfecta so as parents they love their daughter of course the mom she married the dad she knew this is something that is possible he didn't hide it from her that genetic they both know right so they have been showing off their daughter on social media since from i will say since from the time when she was in the womb since from when the lady was pregnant they have been showing us malaika even when they go for scan and all that hospital visits they show malaika to us they have not been ashamed of their daughter they have not been ashamed of their condition or anything of course they're actually normal individuals also living within us right so of recent they decided to make a q a where they titled the video taking off taking malaika off our channel that is taking malaika off social media now the thing is they know that people will definitely ask there are people that they are not really concerned about what people say per se okay it's not as if maybe keeping malaika in the channel is because of maybe our condition or anything they don't really care but when asked like the mom just addressed the whole thing that them taking malaika off social media is not because of anything but because they don't want malaika to grow up and notice most of most of our life on social media that is it's not just about us seeing ourselves on social media that is for her to learn certain things about our life on social media that is maybe they don't want her to know her favorite color through social media you know we bring in our lives on social media if you're a vlogger here sometimes your kids might end up you know growing up and they will later find out in your videos that what their favorite food used to be something else because you vlogged it you get the point and then when they grew up they found out that it's either that favorite food how did they change from that favorite food to another thing or their favorite color can be something else and then they're not noticing that it's something else they will not try to like fall back to that so they said they're just taking her off social media but not totally off their videos that she will always be in the background but not as a major character in their videos just the way she's at the background right now you probably not be seeing her much but she'll always be at the background so you get the point here <laughs> so it's not like we are going to be totally missing out malaika from the videos you'll be seeing malaika a lot but carrying her to the camera to her faces or filming her because sometimes some of their vlogs it could be just be where malaika is playing where they are baiting malaika all those stuff they say they're going to limit it that you know taking care of malaika per se might just be at the background where we'll see but we're not going to like see the major major stuff so they also address the fact that somebody asked a question them that 
are we expecting baby number two soon <laughs> and they said that they first of all laughed. they were like they are open on god to actually increase their family that they are not open to just have just malaika as a child they wish to have more children okay now i know that this uh, this opinion i have right now i feel that you know the last time when they had malaika and they came out to address their audience their family their subscribers that malaika also had the same uh osteogenesis imperfecta that is the condition her father has okay now when they came out i remember the comment section was <laughs> it was somehow because people were saying that you have the money why not go and do stuff like you know ivf where they are going to do you know certain selection of your semen you know the sperm cells to see the ones that are affected with this you know this particular condition and take it out and use the normal sperm cells you get people really really made some opinions and they were like it's not like they don't want to do it but they just wanted to try god and it's not bad to try god in anything just that sometimes we pray to god we are close to god and then when you try something it happens that, okay maybe god wants you to just have this you are praying for this and god said no this is what i want you to have meaning that god knows what he was doing right so i feel that according to them they wanted to just you know leave it in the hands of god and since god gave them this now i don't know if their second child they want to see try try go like trust in god again i don't know they didn't say that but i know that with the former talks and all that and with what they've known better i'm sure that no parent who want their child to you know all their children to have that condition it's not easy it's not even easy taking care of children like that you get the point so i i know that since they have an option to do stuff like ivf i just feel that they will go for it that's just my own opinion and if tomorrow they still come out here and tell us they are still going to trust in god hope on god to you know have um a baby that will not have the condition osteogenesis imperfecta fine and if they're also okay with it that this is what they want any child god gives to them they are taking it fine is their family number one is their family number two they're okay with it number three they are that's the, the the man of the house has it the lady of the house has the wife she's very okay with it so i don't really you know have a say it's just that the children that are becoming our children they didn't ask to be born that way so to me if there's any way they can actually you know um get out of it like do away with it they can if there's a way medically yeah there are ways to you know do it but if they want to they can do it and if they don't still want to it's still their child they can decide whatever they want for their child so what do you think on the comment section what's your opinion do you think because a child was not asked to be born and the child was not asked to be born that way you cannot just force it on the child or if you know that you have the money and you have the means not to give not to bring that child to the world that way eh? is it possible for them to change change it what do you think what's your opinion on the comment section so anyway guys i'm just you know coming here to just see what uh they talked about on their q and a and this family is a family i actually love love watching their videos anyway guys please do well to subscribe to my channel like this video bye